And I think that could be something we could definitely improve on. And, yeah. With that being said, like my teammate said, I think that um, we need to communicate better and bond a little more. That's it. Yeah, it's about the same for me. We all just need to communicate more and get along. So, Coach, um, what are a few things you're doing to make your team stand out from every other team? Um, well, this year, um, like the girl said, we want to bond. Um, we want to build relationships that's lifelong, lifelong relationships with the girls. Um, this year, we plan on doing a lot of um, activities outside of softball. Um, so uh, just getting to know the girls. I think that's a, a very big aspect of coaching, just getting to know your players. That's very big. So um, not just being on the field. You know, we want to know what touting what her favorite food is, you know, what Khalil's f favorite movie is, who uh, Sydney's favorite softball player is. So I think just the aspect of being outside of the f uh, ba softball field. You mentioned bonding a lot. Is it because you have a good group of people coming in that you want to I would say, uh, yeah, we have a new group of people coming in, but then it's a lot of younger girls. And I can relate to being at a young age and coming in to girls who are about to graduate or either 17 or 16, they're a lot older than me. So I understand how it can be uncomfortable coming in and everyone's new and they already know each other and you're having to kind of throw yourself out there. But you know, I just think it's all gonna come in a matter of time. Like even now, it's some younger girls that are already adapting to us, adapting to the environment. And I think it's coming together pretty well. It's just a topic that we need to focus on more or, you know, just it just all needs to come together. And um, like I said before, uh, with the moving as a unit and together, and also what she said with the girls being like younger, there are four year age gaps, three year age gaps, and there's so many different people. So I feel like it's more important for us to move together for us to be in one with each other, like to know that there is, like no matter what, she has my back. True, to be successful. Okay, uh, shifting gears a little bit, I wanted to ask, um, how do you as coach, I guess individually as players, um, cope with dealing with a loss and what do you do to push your team forward afterwards? Um, well, with the loss, um, I'll go over a loss and a win. A loss is 24 hours. Um, think about it 24 hours, move on to the next game. Um, it's going to be wins and losses, but we're not going to ponder and, and keep thinking about a loss. Um, with a win, we're going to celebrate that 24 hours and we're going to move on. Um, as a coach, um, as a coach, one loss feels like five losses. Uh, we beat ourselves up. Um, the players also, too. But, you know, that's something we want to teach the girls. That's just something that's going to happen in life. You know, life is, 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 is wins and losses. And sometimes it may be more losses than wins, but you got to be persistent and keep going. So that's going to be my, my pitch this year. You know, 24 hours, a win or a loss. Girls, anything? Like Coach said, with that 24-hour thing, as a player, within those 24 hours, if we lose, I will sit there and think about what can I do to better for the next game so we can win this game. It's not all about winning all the time. We're going to lose and we're going to win. So that's We it. just want to be competitive yeah. and compete. That's our biggest thing. So what are your plans after high school? Do you have any at all? My plans, I've actually planned on going to uh, the Air Force and then I want to come back, um, go to school, uh, major in criminal justice, maybe do law school. If not law school, I know for a fact I want to get right back into softball, maybe become a coach or, you know, start some kind of camp. Softball is really my passion, so in everything I see softball, just want to encourage younger girls, you know, that this is something you can do. It's not a male sport. It's, it's softball. We're here. You know, it's time to make a statement. So. I like that. Um, after high school, I want to um, go to a four-year college. I do want to continue playing softball, and I want to major in uh, psychology and be a psychiatrist, and yeah. What do I want to do after high school? Um, 
After high school, I want to find something to do dealing with softball. I'm going to college to get my cosmetology license. That's it. Uh, once I get out of high school, I want to at least try to do dentistry or do sports medicine and then just help my community and play softball while I do. So today I've noticed a lot when other people were doing interviews, there were at least 10 plus players who mentioned something to do with some type of medical field. And I'm really interested as to why you would pick that field particularly and if you guys think there's anything that being an athlete in baseball particularly would push someone to be something like a nurse or with sports medicine. Well, I think um, just being a part of being a part of a team would push anybody to learn how to have to work with others. You know, um, on any job you go on, you're gonna have to work with people. You're gonna have to be a good team member. So this is one of the things um, we're trying to teach the girls how to be good team members. That's that's one of the most important things. Um, being a good teammate. Um, you gonna your teammates are gonna have bad days, but you don't wanna you know push buttons and poke at them. You know, you want to be encouraging always because, you know, if you blame somebody for a missed ball, then the, it, that ball is going to find you. And now you're going to be like, oh, man, that same thing happened to me. So the biggest thing we want to teach these girls is how to be a good teammate, how to um, look after your teammates. Hey, you, for, you got your socks, you got your shoes, you got your gloves. That's why, we, that's why we're saying um, bonding with each other is one of our biggest things this year. You know, uh, we're going to move as a unit, not just one. Um, okay, well, with that being said, how that benefits like teamwork and using that in the future, what would you guys say um, softball has done for your life as a whole and benefited you? Uh, for me personally, softball has done a lot for me. Um, I've been playing since I was four. Uh, I started at a very young age. Um, I knew right then and there when I started playing that this was something I could see myself doing forever. Like, it's my passion, I love it. And it's done so much for me in my life. It's taught me discipline, self-respect for myself, um, how to respect others as well as my teammates, my coaches. Um, you know, just taught me a lot about being me. It brought the me out in me. I see that I find comfort in being on the field and comfort, you know, Everybody has those days where they're just not feeling it. But for me, when I get to softball practice, it just feels like paradise. So I think um, that just brought my life a lot of happiness, a lot of energy, you know. So. Um, and going off what she said, I feel like, you know, the field feels like home. Like, you know, you could have a bad day at school. You could let your anger out on the field. You could let your, you know, anything out on the field, I feel like. And with most of us been playing it our whole lives, or even if you're just getting into it, I feel like it could be something you could grow into. It could be something you're, you know, that you've been doing, and no matter what, it feels comfortable, it feels normal, it feels natural to you. Especially being, like, you know, with your favorite people, pretty much on the field. With her saying that, I can agree with them a lot. Softball has helped me come out of my shell. I was a very quiet person. Then was not happy all the time, but when I go to play softball, it's like I get happy, I be ready to bond with my teammates. I can have a bad day, softball will make it better. Uh, playing softball with these girls and just made me feel like I'm at home. We have respect for each other. We're teammates, we get along really good. We're just like family on the field, pretty much. Coach, I was coaching softball. Well, this is my first year um, coaching softball. Um, this is my ninth year teaching, my ninth year coaching basketball. But this is my first year, and um, I haven't been with the girls a lot, my assistant coaches, because basketball season is going on. So, um, But when I get out there, um, I've known these girls since they was in the sixth grade. I taught all these girls because I taught uh, girls PE at Eastwood. And I know these girls, um, they love softball. Um, I've known these girls for a long time. And um, I think being out there with them, um, just seeing them grow, just seeing them grow. Um, we got seniors and we got an eighth grader, we got two 11th graders. Just seeing these young ladies grow is, um, that, 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 that really makes me happy. That's it. Well, can, let me say one thing. Um, I'm really proud of these girls, for one. 
Um, for me knowing these girls since they was in the sixth grade, I taught all these girls. And seeing them mature, I am really proud of these girls. And I just want to say, um, hey, if you're out in the community in Condell, come out and support us and see us. Because um, one thing we want to do this year is compete. We want to win a state title, but we want to compete, though. That's the biggest thing with us is being able to compete on the highest level. Um, we've been practicing for, like, two months now. Do I need to stop? Oh, yeah, we've been practicing for two months, and um, I'm just proud of these girls for the hard work and the dedication. So I just want to say, hey, I'm very proud of these girls, and thank y'all for giving us the opportunity to be here. Thank you so much.